How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And let's quickly talk about group hover state. So in our example, we have a button tag. And just inside of this, I have a SVG. And that is just in the shape of this little message icon. That's all it is. Now, if we go ahead and just add a hover directive here, and we say maybe like text, and we'll go with like green 500, Okay, whenever we hover over that SVG, yeah, we're getting that color change. But what if we want to just hover over the button, right, that HTML element around the SVG to get that color change? What's going to happen? So on the button itself, I am just going to type group, that easy, okay? And right here, instead of hover, I'm just going to say group hover, all right, group dash hover. Okay, so if I go ahead and save this, as you see, the moment now that I am hovering over the button itself is when we're going to get that color change. So essentially, to kind of build up our mental model here, group is kind of like a reference point, right? It's kind of like when you use relative and absolute and all of that. It's very similar to that concept, right? Group is the reference point. And so whenever that reference point gets referenced, this hover effect is going to come into play. So hopefully that helped. That was just a quick video on how we can use group and how we can kind of style things that are dependent on, you know, surrounding HTML elements. If this helped, go ahead and give us a thumbs up and we will see you in the next one.